Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so today we're going to revisit Matt Gates who is under all kinds of uh, investigation and suspicion and, and possibly trouble uh, regarding everything to do with uh, this 17-year-old uh, girl at the time uh, uh, for sex trafficking. Unintentional, um, not deliberate probably, but it's still the same thing. Ignorance is not a defense. Okay, so 1982, Matthew Lewis Gates II was born in Hollywood, Florida. He's descended from a German immigrant who arrived to the U.S. after 1828. And Gates' grandfather was a mayor of Rugby, North Dakota. Uh, Matt grew up in Florida, Matt grew up in Florida, uh, in the house used for the film The Truman Show, where his parents uh, may still live. Uh, 2003, Matt graduated from Florida State University with a B.S in interdisciplinary sciences, BS, appropriate. Uh, 2006 to 2016, for 10 years, Gates' father was a member of the Florida State Senate. And then uh, 2007, uh, Matt received a JD degree from the uh, William & Mary School of Law and Practice Law in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. The JD stands for Juris Doctor. However, this is not a doctorate. It's essentially a professional entry-level degree to practice law, provided, of course, you do pass the bar exam. So the controversy, controversy is, uh, or some of the controversy, is that Matt says he has lived with a 19-year-old man, an immigrant from Cuba, since the boy was 12 years old and considers him as a son. However, the two are not related in any way, legally or otherwise. Presumably, the boy is the brother of the, at the time, underage uh, uh, girl in question uh, regarding sex trafficking. Uh, Gates even clarified, saying the Cuban man is, in fact, the brother of an ex-girlfriend. As I said, she is now the possible subject of a sex trafficking a charge against Gates, who alleged, allegedly paid for the girl's flight, hotel, car, etc., and I guess her brother's lodging and maybe education. So 2020, Gates announced his engagement to Ginger Lucky, uh, the sister of a wealthy Republican donor. I don't know if they're still uh, engaged. Still uh, engaged. Now, in 2021, Axios reported that Gates was seriously considering not seeking re-election and leaving Congress early for a new job at Newsmax, but changed his mind and began blitzing the countryside with Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, campaign uh, and fundraising scheme, or spree, as in crime spree, if, uh, if one believes that they are performing the blitz to raise uh, donation dollars. Um, the report came hours after an announcement that Gates was being investigated for a relationship he had with the aforementioned 17-year-old girl. So everything changed like that for Gates. Uh, reportedly, Gates uh, has shown off naked pictures to political colleagues of naked women he claims to have slept with, including displaying them on the House floor. And now political... Politico, a political journalism, journalism outfit covering politics and policy in the U.S. and internationally, says one of Gates' ex-girlfriend patched Matt in on a call with the aforementioned 17-year-old girl. Uh, now, of course, she's a few years older. If Gates tried to obstruct the FBI federal investigation by influencing the girl, not to mention anything, well, then both Gates and the ex-girlfriend who patched him in to speak with the girl could face federal criminal obstruction charges. Can't do that. So Modern Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis, with il illustrations by uh, Scott Murphy. Beautiful cards. I mean, they come in a really nice box with that magnetic uh, catch that's embedded in the inside the, uh, the box itself. And uh, the uh, guidebook is very useful. Um, it doesn't, you know, the pictures are nice. It's a full color guidebook. And um, the descriptions here, they are, in fact, very useful in, div in dividing the cards. So I have to say, even for the price of the cards, just because you got this guidebook, this is worth the price of admission right here. The cards are, in are very nice. They're useful. They're a familiar size of card to use. And they're quality on the back and on the front. And you're going to see that this artwork goes right to the edge of the cards. And uh, it's intuitive. They're right on the money with the Rider weight system. And um, they're just fun cards to use, and they f and they feel good. And uh, then, um, so if 
these, uh, if you're kind of into uh, spell casting, or even, even if you're not, actually, um, these cards are um, very nice to use. So that's the Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis, and Scott Murphy. Okay, so Matt Gates. Matt Gates. What now, Matt Gates? Are you all caught up in this insane obstruction of justice situation? Did you do it? I mean, you're a lawyer. You should know that you can't say these things. So Matt Gates, um, in a full Celtic cross, like, did you obstruct justice with this young woman? So Matt Gates, did you obstruct justice regarding, you know, trying to tell this young woman, don't say anything, um, try to remember it the way I'm telling you to remember it, you know, did you obstruct justice? Matt Gates, did you obstruct justice? Did you, Matt Gates, obstruct just justice with this young woman? Matt Gates. And then, for the last four cards of the Celtic Cross, will the federal investigators find out about that? Will the federal investigators find out about that and use it? Will the federal investigators find out and use it? Did you do it? And then will the investigators find out and use that? We'll see how this goes. I'm going to take six cards from the beginning for Matt Gates. Uh, did you do it? Did you try to obstruct justice by telling this young woman what to say? And then further, on the last four cards, uh, will the uh, federal investigators uh, use that? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's see how this works out for poor Matt Gates. Here we go. Six cards. Signifier card, Matt Gates, did you do it? The signifier card is this, is the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is a very big offer of truth, of justice. What's interesting to me in this card is that this wolf... Uh, has been speared by truth and justice. That doesn't sound good to me. So that's the signifier card. Wolf getting stuck through by truth. Um, the challenge to this big offer, because uh, that's what a, a, an ace is, it's a big offer sort of, of information, and in this case we see the this, this evil being speared by the truth. So what's the challenge to that? For me, that's uh, the FBI finding out that uh, he did it. Um, the challenge to that is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands, she is all about um, action, motion, plans. So knowing whether um, he did uh, try to um, obstruct justice is challenged by this Queen of Wands who will uh, put forth her plan to find the truth. The balance, the base of this reading then is ah the five of wands so the five of wands is uh, uh always a uh, conflict uh, disharmony uh just look at these guys they're trying to take a whack at a bee's nest or a hornet's nest and so um that doesn't sound very smart and that seems like all the people involved in uh, with math gates uh trying to uh, cover this thing up so that's the base of the reading now the past of this reading is going to be the uh, the chariot so the chariot is uh, things moving rapidly along. Sounds uh, like that's what's happening here. And then the sky in this reading is going to be the two of cups, partnerships. Ah, okay. So here we've got a couple of guys uh, drinking from their individual uh, uh, cups of uh, emotion. So that's that, partnerships. <coughs> Let's see. The uh, likely outcome for this first part where I'm asking did you do it? Did you try to obstruct justice? And that is going to be ah, the Eight of Pentacles, trying to build something um, together, trying to trying to create shelter. Look at that. So let's talk about this again before we do the last four. So the question was, did you obstruct justice? Here we've got justice <clears throat> taking a stab through this wolf. 
wolves do not usually uh, portend uh, something uh, nice and, and sweet. Now, the base of the reading is the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands is disharmony, conflict, um, a bunch of people really running into each other, and they're likely to get stung, is the fact. In the past of this reading is the Chariot, things moving on at a pretty rapid clip. And in the sky of this reading are partnerships. And for me, this seems to be partnerships trying to, um, you know, get the stories together. On what they're going to say because the final outcome of this is building a shelter to protect yourself very interesting now the last four cards of this the first one which is going to be the self the self and now this is where I'm going to ask are the federal investigators going to use this knowledge um, against uh, many gates self ah is the high priestess so yeah the high priestess she has knowledge and she's going to use that knowledge and uh, so that's very interesting you know it's also kind of uh, interesting that we have this little babe uh, all uh, bundled up here this could represent the youth of the uh, woman that he's in, um, suspected of trafficking um, that sounds uh, like an interesting um, self so yeah they are going to use what they know the uh, environment that that's in, however, ah, look at that. So this is the uh, page of wands. You know, pages are messengers, and this page, at wands are actions, plans, and this page is listening to what the birdie has told him. He's listening to the little birdie speaking. So they've had their ears open, and that's the environment that they're in. Somebody's singing, in other words. Um, the um, hopes and the fears for all of this, hopes and the fears for the federal investigators, is uh, the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. So you can see here that these two are being, uh, you know, can't go inside to get protected. They're having to pass by. Oh my gosh. And then the likely outcome of all of this is going to be right here, the Empress. And the Empress is fruitful, she's all-knowing, and she's powerful. And uh, I would say that she uh, represents uh, strength and truth. And these last four cards are having to do with the federal investigators. So just to talk about it again one more time, let me ask the question first, did you do it, man? And so what we got as a signifier was the truth and, and this wolf trying to jump over the truth or being speared by the truth. Uh, that was in the uh, the challenge to that was this queen of, of wands who's an all-knowing and, uh, and, and powerful queen with her actions. Uh, the base of the whole thing was people trying to uh, uh, disharmony, uh, likely chance somebody's going to get stumped. Sounds like Matt trying to hide things. Uh, in the past, where the chariot thing's moving on at a, a fast clip, investigations. Up here, we see the partnerships of the folks, uh, either uh, Matt and his uh, friends trying to hide things, or it could be investigators, the investigators partnering with uh, the folks who know what's going on. And the likely outcome is that some sort of a shelter is, was being built to uh, protect them from all this coming out. But then we said the last part would be just the investigators. And so uh, as a signifier for that, or as the for the self is the uh, higher, uh, the high priestess, all knowing. We said we had this uh, babe here, which could represent the underage element involved in this whole thing. Um, the environment that they're in is uh, being sung to, a little birdie uh, giving a message. And then uh, and the page of wands is someone who's going to bring this action forward, this, uh, this plan. Um, the uh, hopes and fears, five of pentacles, not being able to hide. Okay, you have to stay out in the cold. And then the uh, likely outcome is the empress, who is all-knowing, and these last four cards represent uh, the uh, investigators. So, yeah, this looks not good for Mr. Matt Gates. So, uh, it starts out with uh, Matt Gates uh, as the wolf, I guess, trying to either jump uh, past justice or, or to the truth giving him a stab in the stomach um, he's challenged by the uh, queen of wands uh, you know all-knowing queen gonna move forward with her plans in the past was uh, or the base of the reading was all this uh, disharmony uh, the very good possibility of getting stung uh, by these bees they're trying to bat out of the nest and uh, things moving along in this chariot at a rapid pace and then up in the sky we had partnerships for me, that's either partnerships with Matt trying to get together with somebody to uh, create an alibi or the investigators partnering with those folks to get the truth. And then the, um, the likely outcome of that first part, of course, was uh, trying to build a shelter to hide under. 
And then um, the uh, for the last part, which we were asking, are the uh, federal investigators going to use this against him? And we see them showing up as the uh, uh, priestess, all knowing with the babe uh, there showing them uh, the youth element. Uh, we had the page of wands bringing forth the truth being sung to by the birds in the trees. And then the uh, hopes and the fears are being left out in the cold in this five of pentacles. Man. And, but then the final outcome was the empress, and that's the federal investigators. All-knowing, powerful, fruitful, going to get what they want. Yeah, doesn't look good. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.